good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Traditional Medicine in Western Armenia Marash, the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative will allocate $500,000 for project in Artsakh. Residents of South Village are firmly attached to their native land, the head of the community. Musadag Housing and Architecture, Extreme Cold in Western Armenia has paralyzed normal life. An exhibition entitled Another Kostat Napol opened in Aragular Museum in Kostat Napol. Armenian letters are on the world's largest mural, Khajak Sirekanyan. In the 19th and 20th century, the natural and climate condition of Marash in Western Armenia, healthy air, abundance of water, abundance of purity and nutrients had a beneficial effect on the health of the local population. However, the initial watershed situation, preventive measures, lack of cleanliness caused physiological diseases to spread rapidly throughout the city. Especially water-borne diseases especially commit great destruction, taking the lives of residents. There are also no doctors in Marash, and the role was partially fulfilled by some medical knowledge and experience, which in the old way contributed to treatment of various diseases. Unfortunately, much has been lost and forgotten for this past. Nevertheless, according to the testimony of elderly Marash residents, a number of families until recently had handwritten books called Hekimaran, in which numerous information about medicine was written. The Aurora Humanitarian Initiative has announced a new stage of assistance to people who find themselves in a serious humanitarian crisis in Artsakh after 2020 war. Award winner Aurora 2021, Julie Luseng, has selected certain projects that will receive funds for the award and will use them to meet the urgent needs of the local population. At this stage, Aurora will allocate $500,000 for projects implemented in Artsakh. On December 12, 2021, Aurora and the UN Mission in Armenia organized the Christmas Fair in Yerevan. All proceeds from the event, about $25,000, will be used to ensure the food security of displaced people from Artsakh during the winter season. Aurora has already allocated more than $740,000 to support 80 projects in Artsakh and help 131 residents of the region. Residents of South community of Martin region of Artsakh continue to build on their own land, improving it. This was stated by the head of the South community, Hunan Grigorian. According to him, the name of the village, which has 300-year history, originated from the nave of a pine tree. In his speech, Hunan Grigorian presents the village of Sos as follows. After the 44-day Artsakh war, families from Hadrut region settled in the village and took advantage of various assistance provided to their displaced people. There are 168 students studying here, seven of whom are children from deported families. Referring to the employment of the population, Grigorian said that the main direction is agriculture. Musadak was situated to the southwest of the biblical city of Antioch, overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. It comprises six main Armenian villages. The overwhelming majority of Musadagian's owned homes, a survey dated 11 July 1939, provided with considerable detail respecting houses, orchards, and fields. Most probably, the survey was ordered by the French and carried out by Musadagians to have a record on the quantity side and value of fixed property, as well as movable belongings and liquid assets that Armenians owned at the time of their living from the Sanjak before 23 July 1939. Read the full article on our official website. In Western Armenia, winter has taken control of almost all spheres of the country. Unprecedented coldness this year has also prepared its unpleasant surprises and will continue for a long time. In particular, due to heavy snowfall and heavy blizzards, roads in the southwestern regions of Western Armenia are closed. In some states, such as Mush, Van, and a number of public places and all educational institutions are also closed. Employees of Chansky services at the cost of daily pen sinking work, as well as with the help of special equipment, clear snow from highways and intercity roads, which however are covered with snow again in a short time. The relevant authorities urge drivers to be careful and if possible not to drive in bad conditions. The exhibition named after the archive of Ara Guler, nicknamed the Eye of Istanbul, opens up to visitors the world of famous photographs taken by the photographer in Kostadnapol. The exhibition, the design of which belongs to the archive and research center, named after the Gulars Ara, includes 58 different black and white photographs of Kostadnapol, slide boxes of Istanbul, archive boxes from Gulars' apartment, a camera and the 1950s and 1960s contact printed samples. The exhibition also features a typewriter writers through which Aragula wrote stories in his middle school years. 
Researcher of historical materials Khajak Sirekanyan wrote on his Facebook page, Armenian letters on the world's largest mural of the famous fresco by Giovanni Battista Tiepolo, considered the largest of the world, adorns the palace of Bavarian bishops in the medieval German city of Würzburg. According to German scientists, a version is likely that an old man from Ja and a penis master of Mashtots, the author of the invitation of the Armenian script. As for the letters themselves, it should be noted that there are 43 on the Tiepo mural, several more than the letters of Mashtots. By depicting Armenian letters and their creator, Tiepolo may have wanted to be introduced to the public, the people who adopted the first Christianity in the world, and there is some secret message hidden in the letters, which however has not yet been disclosed. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.